What's up, YouTube? This is Panthera C. Love, and I'm entering the reptile contest. A little bit about me. I'm a senior under animal science, pre-veterinary medicine, slash biotechnology at Kansas State University. Uh, a little more about me. I have one and a half dogs. The other dog is my girlfriend. And one snake. I'll show you my dogs right now. Romy. Romeo. Hey. Look at me. Yeah, that's my boy. And that's my girl's dog, Jules. She's a sweetheart. She's still a puppy. Romeo's two on Christmas. Uh, here's a picture of them. Also, of them and my snake. Alright. Uh, the story behind me and my snake. Uh, I started working at a pet shop in late December. Uh, the guy that gave me my dog, he's the guy that owns the reptile shop. It's a local shop, and he's very particular on how to take care of his animals. So I'm working there, I've been learning and being more confident in how to handle them and take care of them. Um, another guy that works there who is my friend, his name is Adam. And uh, he introduced me to all of his snakes. He has about three uh, boa constrictor, imperators, common boa, Colombian red tail boas, they're the Colombian version. Uh, and you know, I started doing my research on them in particular just because he showed me them and I was he I seen how passionate he was about him so he kind of transferred that over to me uh, and he also told me one of his females a larger female she'll be breedable and he was when she was ready in a year to have her baby she would he would give me one he said she was a hundred percent hit for albino or whatever so you know I was like you know a free snake I'll do my research and I'll have a year to to get ready for it Needs to say, I'm entering a contest. It hasn't been a year. It's been two months. <laughs> All right, this, here's the deal. We in the shop. We got in a couple of uh, Burmese pythons, and one of them was really small and sick. And so Adam decided that he should take care of that snake on his own. So the owner of the store is like, you know what? Go ahead, take care of her. I'll pay you for it. You know, she's a good. Please, just you know, I don't want the snake to die. Um, so he took the snake and he realized he wasn't giving his other snakes as much attention as they needed. So when he came to me and he offered, he was like, you know what, I need your help. Will you please take this snake or do you want this snake? He didn't say, can you take this snake? He asked me, did I want it? So I was like, bring her into the store and I'll check out, see if I want her. And sure enough, it was love at first sight when he brought her in. And, you know, I was going to take her, but then I told him, you know, hey, I don't have the proper stuff for the snake. I don't have nothing. And then he's like, you know what? I'll give you stuff. I'll give you a tank, an under tank here, and all this stuff. All you need to do is buy a lamp to start off with. So I did that, and I took her home. Now I realized I didn't want that small tank. I wanted something bigger. So I went ahead and started buying bigger stuff, and then gave him his tank back when I got all my stuff. So right now I'll show you her tank, and I'll show you her in a little bit. Uh, this is her tank. It's a 40 breeder. And if you look at the top of the lid, it has duct tape, ghetto duct tape. Um, reason for that is because it was a free tank and that tank was busted by another boa. And I have another one on order. It takes a couple of weeks to get. Um, the substrate I have right there is cracked corn. It, I seen somebody else use uh, whole corn. And, you know, I would advise it. It's a good substrate. But over there by the water bowl it gets a little moldy like the chemistry with the sugars and starches in the uh in the corn and it being open like that it creates mold so i clean it often so i won't be using this again but i'll use it until i finish that large bag which was only like eight bucks um yeah so like you seen i have the water bowl I have a vine for her to crawl on, a hiding bush, a thermostat back there, and it reads. I really can't read because I put the bush in front of it like an idiot. Uh, it reads about 80, a little bit above 80. Uh, and then she has another thermostat right there on the hot side, and that one reads 88.7, which is just like how I like it. Um, she has a hunter white light bulb, uh, another common vine, a rock, and a hiding bush. She's on, actually, where is she? Oh, she's in her hut right now. Um, 
But that rock I got from my front yard and I sterilized it. All right, how I did that was I put it in the oven at like 400 degrees for about, or 400, yeah, 400 degrees for about three to four hours. Can't remember exactly, but it was at least three. And I took it out, let it cool, then set it in there. So there's nothing bad on there. Um, I have an under, under tank heater, of course, to help keep the ambient temperature up. And the reason why this cloth is up there is to help keep moisture in because it has a screen and it's an all glass tank. So this actually helps keep the moisture in. And when I put it on there, it raises the temperature a lot too, so it keeps it in the temperature in there. I spray water in there about every three to four hours right now. She's pre-shed also. She'll be shedding probably tomorrow because she's clearing up in her eyes. Um, I'll take her out for you right now. She's actually due to feed, but I can't feed her right now because I don't have the food with me. I have to go to the store. I will make a video, so if you want to check out my video of her feeding later, then you can do that. But yeah, I'll get her out right now. And I just soaked her about about 20 minutes ago, so she should be nice and moist for me. <laughs> Not slimy people. Um, this is her. Her name is Maya. She's the coolest snake ever. She's very t calm temperament. I love her. We make out all the time. Let's get her. Let's give him a little taste. She a little camera. She a little camera shy, you know. But uh. Yeah, that's my setup. That's my snake. I have to give credit to another YouTube user on um, the base of my uh the base of my setup. It's uh I got my setup based from uh, a a YouTube user named Boas. Boas04. He's like a guru to me. I watch all his videos and get ideas from him. Uh he doesn't know me. He doesn't even know I'm probably saying his name on my video, but whatever you're a good guy you know what you're talking about keep doing what you do uh, I basically deserve to win this because I've been doing research for for a long time I've been learning more every day there's something new that I learned I just learned how to get her to poop when she wasn't pooping put her in a warm bath for a while she pooped like a like a dump load on me um, yeah but that's that's my that's my uh, snake that's my cage I put the thing back on her. She's beautiful. She needs to eat. She's probably hungry and mad at me that I ain't fed her yet. But yeah, I put it. That's all. Once again. And my beautiful.